quick video here on how to make a DBC file in SavvyCamp. So for no good reason, in this canvas log file of a John Deere, I'm going to pick this signal here, and or message rather, and I'm going to create a DBC file to explain it. I'm absolutely going to invent what this value is because I don't care and uh, we'll just make something up. So we've got a sample here. As you can see, this is a default node. Nodes are devices on the canvas that send messages and signals. So a node could be an ECU, it could be an uh, ABS controller, it could be an entertainment controller, it could be a joystick. So we're going to fake this one. I'm going to say that this is a joystick. Whether it is or isn't, I don't really care. And that's just the name. So this is the name of your device. And then nodes, as I explained, send out messages. So this message, we're going to have to identify the message by its ID. So 0x. One eight one two three four five zero, and we're going to call this accesses, for example. And I'll show you why in a moment. So that's accesses. There's nothing to actually interpret at the moment though, because we don't have any signals. So we have to put a signal in. And let's just say, for example, that we've decided through our wisdom that the first sixteen bits are the x-axis. So we make this sixteen bits. And we have to click the right thing here because we've decided that this is little endian. So we click this in zero. If you want to find out the difference between little endian and big endian, then you know go and have a Google. I ain't telling you. And we have to make sure the receiving node is the correct one because otherwise it's the default, which is vector x x x. Uh, so we're going to call that. Oops, I didn't give it a name. I thought I did. Axis. Axis. Right. So now, if I close this and interpret frames, I uh, might have to save it. You'll see it's now decoding these values. So this first two values are decoding. 72FF is decoding to 65394. So if I do 0x, uh, where was I? FF27. I type it right. FF72, 65394. So that's a simple decoding. What if you want to give an explanation of something instead? So we do that. So we're back to our joystick and our axes. We might decide that one of these numbers represents a button. So we give it a new signal. And this time we're just going to pick, for no good reason, the third byte. And we're going to say, uh, let's see, the third byte. And we'll decide that our first signal here is um, button one and it's a bit length of one and we're going to say a value of zero is off and one is on so now when we reinterpret hopefully might have to save it button one is on button zero button one is off this all depends on where that first uh, bit is off or on uh, and that's how we're now interpreting individual values with plain text. And we could give it another signal. Uh, let's pick 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So if we go to C9, so we'll say button byte 4, which is this one. And we'll say it's perhaps 4 bits long. And little Indian, not that that really matters in this case. And here we'll call this, I don't know, range for example, and we'll need to take these out because this is not relevant. Now we actually take these out, it should be an easier way. No. Nope. Maybe I just did that wrong, and we'll make sure this is, oh god. Yeah, this can get very confused sometimes. Let's just try and pick the top one and hope that we've got the right thing here. And we'll close that, and we'll reinterpret. So now we're seeing there's a range taken from the first four bits of there. So this, these numbers should only go up to 16. So that's how we can combine bits and bytes and explain different bits or byte ranges in Savvy Can DBC. You don't have to be limited to single bits if you're doing statuses. So for example, if we decide that FF in the final byte here is something of value, we can say, we'll just call this Final byte, and um, we'll call this 8 bits, and it'll be in here. You'll see how we're building up the signals within the message. 
So all this is for message 18FFF0, and we can see them all in here. And now we could say, for example, end of video. Ah. Probably doesn't want the 0x, maybe, maybe. video there you go just didn't want the x the ff that's it